look what I ran to is Brooklyn Decker's other boyfriend. <laughs> You know you're gonna cause trouble oh, with that. Wait, 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 wait. Sarah, we're, all, we're both Facebook friends. Like he's a he's a he's a good guy. Yes, he Brooklyn really and I are just friends. I know there are a lot of rumors, a lot of things you read in <laughs> New York Post. Just friends. Hey, so what do you think about the draft and how it's turned out? Ah, uh, quarterbacks, 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 which is cool. Yeah. I was a little surprised to see Ponder go 12. I was a little surprised that Gabber fell. I, I, you know, a couple of experts had said it was going to happen, but you still don't believe the guy he had number three the whole time yeah. falls to number ten. How much I got to ask? Because you yeah. know, we know how much of that. Do you think Gabber was a little bit? Overblown. Oh, absolutely. You know? I mean, if you look at the stats, he had 16 yeah. touchdowns and nine interceptions last year. That's not number one yeah. material, but uh, you know, he's a good quarterback. I'm really yeah. high on him. I, I would have taken him over. He's a hard longer. worker, but you could tell I was interviewing him. He was like a little tense earlier, but yeah. he knew that Cam was going to go number one, and he thought he had the right agent and everything. He's like, oh, oh got it. Man. He was like yeah. perfectly designed to go number one. Yeah, he was. Good yeah. looking, right yeah. agent, right, you know, huge wonderland mm-hmm. score. Big arm, he's good. Well, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. Okay. Was part of Cam News issue race? Because some people, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, I mean, you know. Yeah. You know, I know it's 2011, but I think so. But, you know, Newton also had some facts about right. You're talking about character. You know, he had his father mm-hmm. with NCAA. Right. You had the stolen laptop. So right. if you're talking about character, you're not just basing it on superficial things. You're, you have some facts behind it. So that was valid. I thought all yeah. those questions were valid. And he came in here tonight and he said, you know, I guess it's the media's job to critique me to the core. So you could tell he felt really sort of picked on. How do you think he's handled it? Great. I think he's been really good. Yeah, no. I mean, the guy is he's a real, real smooth now, talker. We last talked. Yeah. You guys had a really interesting development. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> That's the best word to describe it. <laughs> development. I thought he was going to come back and do this show with you guys. and yeah, Whatever was, happened with all that stuff, man? I was like, you know. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, believe me. He was, uh, he was, I'm sure, texting back and forth with Dan and Pauly about a sort of rendezvous. I think we were like, yeah, that'd be great if you yeah, came by. Like, yeah, come hit some like, golf balls. He sounded serious about it. He's like, yeah, yeah we're going to do this. We're going to have a man cave no. and all this. I was He's like, like, yeah, we're like, cool. come hit some golf balls. We're like, uh, we're going to be out that day, actually. Uh, <laughs> hey, Fritz. You stay back and you hang out with Charlie G. But, but I was really happy for you guys. How much has that done for the show in terms of visibility? You know, it, it did very well. I think it really got our name out. Anybody who's not a hardcore sports fan and might not have known where Dan was now, it's a crossover. You know, yeah, it hit a lot of absolutely. mainstream people. And, you know, now we're on so many TV markets. I think it was a great confluence. You know, I think it's really elevated the profile to people who are casual sports fans. Oh, you guys work hard now. I, mean, oh, I have yeah. to give it to me because I know that you guys wake up and you're in. And you got to come up from here in New York and go up to Connecticut. And oh, yeah. Well, that's only me, but it's uh, it's not work. I'm telling you, I would be there for free. Don't tell Dan that. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it's really not work. It's so much fun. I, you know, it looks like we're having fun as we are. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like you guys are really good to go. Uh, do you have actual drinks back there at that bar in the back of it? I always wondered not about it. Like, is there actually a bar back there? No, it's a real bar. What's well, not a prop? You know, it's funny. During the show, sometimes Dan will play with the keg just to see the yeah. kegs working. No, but nobody drinks during the show. It's, I think it's not really. And so expected. that building on one is that on the direct TV. That building yeah. is actually your studio. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Is wait, wait. I fucking believe that. That's like <laughs> funny. I thought it was a prop all this time. <laughs> it's no, like, no, no, no. It's upstairs and all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you know the dry cleaner down there. <laughs> Trust me, I'll get in line for a sandwich downstairs and I'm like, boom, boom, boom. And then, woof, that's Dan taking a charge. <laughs> like, Dan tried to take a charge, which is a fake charge, by the way, because he's the king. He might as well play for Coach K. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah. Definitely. So, how was the Super Bowl in Dallas for you? Know, you cold. Did you expect it to be this that cold? <laughs> that was you kidding like- me? I read the weather report. They're like, oh, it's going to be freezing. I'm like, nah, it's Dallas. So, we're there day one. And I wish you could pull the video. That's why I didn't go. Yeah. Okay. Because the weather. I just I, that would have been my eighth Super Bowl, and I yeah. saw the weather. My mom's. Were well, you watching the Super Bowl? And I said, I think I'll stay here. I'll go. I'll come. I'll come watch it with you, Mosh. Goes great. Oh, that, you, you know. You made the best decision in your life, Dan. You should just if you go back to day one, the month or Tuesday where it snows. Dan is so cold. Like the fact that we got on air for three hours and spoke coherently. Fritzy, <laughs> Fritzy actually hid into his coat during the show. He's got it over his head. He can't even see it. It was really oh, bad, but really man. fun. Well, we're both burning up. It's hot in here, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's like yeah, we're both burning up. But we got uh, the New York Giants' latest uh, Prince. Oh, Makara. He was Wait. drafted by the Giants. That's him over there in the uh, distance. Yeah. And uh, I Prince. saw New York 
possible NFL running back, Tiki Barber. Yeah, he's part yeah. of the crew. Tiki's my going to be my interview again. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Fine. What do you think of him going back to the league? I don't really think it's a great thing. For yeah. Him. You know, I think uh, I'm proud of him. He's, there's a lot, because we talked last year, there's a lot that Tiki and I, Tiki can't say, let's put it that way, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, so I think there's a lot of hurt personally on this in that he doesn't want to cough up. You know? Got so it. He's, he's a man... He's a man in pain, I think, you know, mm-hmm. so he's trying to, to restore things. Well, if I, so, if I could play, yeah. I'd be out there until the last day I could. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's like, yeah. hey, Tiki, you know I'm on your side, man. It's like, yeah, yeah. Like I say, he's, he's right over there, man. It's like, I'm not going yeah, to why, why are you saying right here? Why don't you go say to him? Yeah. <laughs> by the way. We got to talk. Hey, man. Like, uh, yeah, Prince, by the way, he's coming over here. He's going to blanket me later. He said, really? uh, oh, we have a thing going. Oh, so, is that right? I told him I could get yeah. open. We got to get Prince over here, then. Uh, he's, we gotta, he's busy. He's he's ducking me. Uh, we, we let's see if we can get him over here. Oh, let's try. I was joking. Prince has no oh, idea. Really? <laughs> no, are you kidding me? We'll find out. We'll be on the show. If we get him on the show. Nah, he can't handle my height. I'm six oh, four. Come on, legit. Wait. No, no, no. He's not gonna want to look bad on draft day. Get freaking towered over, throw the alley oop, the Harold car. I think I can arrange something. No. No, 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 no. This is his big night. I don't want to embarrass him. Oh. So, you know. You think, well, wait a minute. Let me see what I can work out. Hold on, hold on.